Hi friends, I'm Adafta from Easy Approach and it's the 9th video of Flutter video series. In this video, I'm gonna talk about another widget which is so important for making layouts and it is called container. Container is nothing, just a rectangular area on your screen in which you can place widgets. But one thing is that you can do a lot of funny stuff with your container. You can customize the appearance of your container like you can uh, you can add the borders around it you can change the background color of that particular area you can have padding you can do margin and you can do a lot of other uh, stuff so now let's move forward so what i'm gonna do here i'm using a column widget in the body of the scaffold and in the column widget I'll define different containers and do some different uh, sort of things so that we can see the different variations of container. So I'm going here, removing this center and I'm using here a column. And in the column widget, I'll need to define all the children and make sure to use comma to separate all of the properties of this scaffold widget. Now we can place different containers inside the children. Now. I want uh, to use a container of uh, 200 pixels of height. So how can we do so? Uh, I'm going to use here a container, which is the name of this widget. And I can define, I need to define two main properties. The first one is the width of the container. And second one is the height of the container. To define the width of the container, I'll use this width property. And I want my container to take the full space of the screen width. So we can use this double dot infinity. It will make your container to take uh, the full screen width um, and to fill the space and I'm gonna use a property height and I want my container 200 pixels so I can use here 200 now as the containers default color is transparent so we cannot see if uh, we refresh it now so we need to add some color as well to, so that we can see the container on the screen so I'm using here a color property and the color I can give any color I want so I'm giving here a red color so if I refresh it we can see the container in our application. Now, as I said, we can place different widgets inside our container. And that is actually a container is for. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm defining here a child property in which I'll add a tax widget at the center of this container. So I can use here a center widget, which will place a widget at the center inside this container. And I'll use this child. And here I need to give what I actually want uh, to see at the center of container. So I want a tax widget to be at the center. So I can give anything my first container and as the background color is a bit dark is at and red so we can also style our text and we can give the different color like uh, white and now if I refresh it you can see our container uh, a text inside the container the center now as I said we can play with this container and we can add uh, so many properties so the very important thing that we uh, will, will be often using is actually the margin property. This margin property give, uh, uh, actually uh, adds margin around your container. So what I'm going to do here, I need to add, uh, add the margin around this container at every side. So I can use add insets.all and I can give here uh, any value that I want, to, uh, I want to margin this. So if I refresh it, you can see all the sides of container is actually uh, there's a margin of uh, 16 pixels at the top at the right at the left and yeah at the bottom but we cannot see it properly so this is how you can add the margin as well now if i copy this container and paste it make sure you need to use comma to separate all of the children and if i change the color like uh, i can do yellow and if i refresh it you can see a different container and actually this is how we uh, make our layout we use a column widget and uh, we'll place a different sort of containers and in the container uh, we actually uh, use a different uh, uh, actually use a different con a different layout or different widgets uh, like uh, we add form in a container we have buttons in container uh, we have tags in container so this is how we actually make uh, our application layout so this is very important uh, uh, for layout purposing so in the next video we'll learn about some new uh, different topic so thank you for watching